Hi everyone, welcome back to practice. Today's flow class is all about lengthening. Lengthening the limbs, the legs, the arms, the spine, and working to lengthen the breath to match the elongation of the limbs. You'll want a yoga block or two, and we'll begin this practice in child's pose. Come back to where the breath begins inside of you. And that feeling of it rippling out with the inhale and rippling inward with the exhale. Adding that tone of throat around breath. And in the beginning, I asked you to make it very tender and gentle. See if you can maintain that, that tenderness in the ujjayi. So not bringing any aggression into the way that we're breathing. Press into shins and tops of feet. Come forward until you align yourself in, in table, in hands and knees. And take your right hand, step your right hand forward by a hand's print. Keep your left hand underneath your left shoulder and move through cow and cat with just your right arm in this reach pattern. So one side of the body is a little longer than the other as we move in and out between this back bend of cow and this spine flexion of cat. Finding your way to neutral to step Right hand under right shoulder, left arm in a reach pattern. So palm print or palm print and a half away from you. And cow cat with now left arm slightly reaching. So the breath is long and the movement is slow. Come to neutral after this next rounding and then walk the right arm as far forward as the left arm is and start to move your hips back around forward so they actually drop forward and off to the side. So it's a circle but the pelvis gets heavy when you bring it forward. And the reach pattern in the arms allows for that heaviness in the pelvis. Go the opposite direction now. Think of the pelvis kind of like a bowling ball, like that kind of weight and that kind of ease with which it can roll. And finding your way back to hips aligned over knees. Now, toes, they tuck. Push the floor forward and away and raise your hips up and back into downward facing. Draw the front ribs in and angle your hip bones towards the chest a bit. 
And can you breathe as long as you feel your arms and legs are? And so as we elongate the limbs, we elongate the breath. From here in downward facing, walk the feet about halfway forward, which might mean knees have to bend. And rather than being on flat palms, you come on to fingerprints. Let your head hang. So there's a reach pattern in the arms. Press down into pinky side of hands. So the whole outer line of the arm firm towards the floor. And breathing from the origin point. And walk hands over to the right. So you're still reaching away, way out and over to the right. Palms or fingertips pressing. Drag the left hip back. So feel how you're side bending in the spine. The right side is getting short as the left side is getting long. And then track your way through the middle of your mat and walk over to the left. You're still reaching away. Right hip tacks back. So left side gets short, right side gets long. Make your way back to center. When you get there, walk up the rest of the way. Bend your knees a lot so belly can release into thighs. Give your legs a hug, like behind your knee creases. Maybe you can hold opposite elbows back there. Release the weight of your head. Let's think of the head as the second bowling ball. <laughs> weight of the head releases down. So just allowing for some traction in the neck. You can feel the belly expanding into the thighs. And let go of that wrap of arms around legs. Let arms hang, head hang, neck and shoulders hang. Keep the bend of your knees. Find some engagement of lower belly. And like a rag doll, can you roll up to standing? And arrive in mountain or tadasana and do the same head trick that we did when we were getting ready for pranayama, where you retract as if you're pressing the back of the head into a wall. And you draw the shoulder blades down and onto the back side of the rib cage. So you're maximizing the space between tops of shoulders, bottom of earlobes. Reach down through the heels while simultaneously reaching up through the back of your neck. Exhale all of your breath. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, raise arms, lift eyes, maybe palms touch, reach up. Exhale from hips hinging to fold over. Inhale, lengthen, crown reaching away from thigh bones. Exhale, step to plank. Keep exhaling, lower the knees, and come forward to the floor so the pelvis does get heavy. Untuck toes, pelvis even heavier. Cobra, push the floor away from you. Inhale. Exhale, tuck toes, raise the hips up and back. Down dog. Look for the length of the limbs and let the length of your breath match. Your, your effort of lengthening the limbs. And 
And take a deep breath all the way in. Exhale, crouch with the hips, which means bending the knees. Look forward with the eyes. Inhale, step or lightly jump, feet to hands. Keep inhaling, lift halfway, crown reaching away from thigh bones. Exhale and fold, belly close to thighs. Inhale, rise up, reach to the top. And exhale, release the arms couple more times. Inhale, reach, like really reach up. Lift the eyes. Exhale, bow forward, out and down. As you inhale and lengthen, it's the same amount of reach that you had just a moment ago. Keep the length. Exhale, step back to plank. Keep exhaling, lower down, knees or chaturanga now. Inhale, cobra, or you could invite upward dog. Exhale, bowling ball. <laughs> Weight of the pelvis goes up and back, down dog. Length of limbs matches length of breath. Drawing in an in-breath. As you're exhaling, crouching with that exhalation, looking towards your thumbs, inhale, step or float. Keep inhaling, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, return to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Hands to hips. Step or hop the feet as wide as the outer shoulders. Inhale, lift up chin and chest. Exhale, bow forward, bend knees on the way down, belly to thighs, grab your big toes. So we're doing this fingers grabbing toes pose. Inhale, lengthen. So use this pulling up on the toes, straightening of the arms, traction the spine forward. Pause here and notice if your chin is jutting forward. Do the retraction we've been working on with the neck. Feel all that length. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Elbows go slightly to the sides as you fold in. Now, some of you will make the decision to start to straighten your legs. Think of hip bones towards chest. So it's going to feel like sitting bones towards ground rather than sitting bones reaching up to ceiling. So we're grounding in the legs. While you're folded, breathe all the way out. Inhale, straighten arms, pull up on toes, crown of head reaching forward. Exhale, release the toes, fingertips to the floor. Keep your right leg leading. Take your left leg back towards a lunge. And then lower the left knee to the ground. Heel toe your right foot out a few times so that you can take your right arm inside of your right leg. Left palm to the ground. And then begin this process of inhale, open body, twisting, right arm to sky. Exhale, right hand touches floor, inside of right foot. Right, so this opening and closing. And you're moving with the breath. Right? So as the breath moves from its origin and ripples outward, we open into the twist. As it comes back into the origin point, we touch the floor. One last time. Right hand is inside of right foot. Lift your back knee. Lift your hips as high as your front thigh. And then step left foot outside of the left hand. So we're kind of half squatted here. Step right leg back. Place right knee to the ground. 
put weight into right hand and then start this process here on the left hand side. Inhale, open. Exhale, touch down. So the breath is moving you. Releasing left hand to floor under left shoulder. Lift the back knee and from here, step all the way back, downward facing dog. If you'd like to layer in vinyasa, do so. Follow the length of your breath through the various postures. From down dog, use breath in, lift the right leg long and strong up and back behind you. Exhale, bring the right knee underneath you, step your right foot forward between your hands. Weight the front foot so you're weighting the big toe, the pinky toe, and the heel like that tripod of the, big toe, of the front foot. Turn your back foot in and down and come up warrior one. Pelvis heavy, spine reaching vertically. Bring hands to the hips from here. Straighten the front leg. The stance is kind of big, so take your back foot in a little bit, setting up like a pyramid shape of the legs. And then take your arms out to the side. So we're going wide to a T. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, can you rotate your trunk to the right? Inhale, come back wide to a T. Exhale, rotate to the right again. So do this a couple of times. Then I want you to explore, not only are you rotating to the right, but you're hinging and reaching forward. And then you're coming back up to square towards the front of your yoga mat. Right? So just playing with this like unwinding of your spine. And the whole time you're unwinding your spine, <laughs> you're keeping your right hip stable and held into position. Come all the way back up. Reach back, hold opposite elbows now. Inhale, lift up, chin, chest. Exhale, fold. So you're deepening right hip crease as you take pyramid. Belly slightly turns to the right. Feel free to soften your front knee here. So we get caught up in the leg having, having to be straight. But you can soften knee. Feel the length of legs, length of spine, and let your breath match the lengthening of those limbs. Release, touch ground, bend front knee, step back, down dog, lengthen out the stance because it was a little short there. Vinyasa if you'd like or stay put and breathe. From downward facing, breathe and stretch left leg long and high. Exhale, knee underneath, step the foot. Right foot turns on its pivot. Weight the tripod of the front foot and come up warrior one. So again, pelvis is heavy. Spine is light and buoyant.
Bring hands to hip straight in the front leg. Back foot comes in like a footprint. Right? Arms reach ho horizontal, wide, palms facing forward. Take breath in. Exhale, work on the rotation left. So you're doing this a few times, trying to find that active spinal rotation. And then you're adding a little bit of leaning as you rotate and then coming back up and out of it. So this idea of spiraling and reaching. And can you feel how that spiral and reach actually impacts the out, outer left hip? And you're working to stabilize left hip in and back. Find your way back to standing. Reach back, opposite elbows held back there. Inhale, lift up. Stamp the feet. Exhale, hinge, deepening left hip crease as you fold over and down. Once again, feel free to soften the front knee without losing the feet. Navel turns slightly left. Release the hands, touch down, bend front knee. Step back, down dog, lengthen it out. Stay or flow, your choice. Long breath, long movements if you're flowing. Long breath, long limbs if you're staying in downward facing. Now take left leg, lift it again, it's high and long. Exhaling left foot forward between the hands. Orient yourself to the right, so you're wide legged, forward bending all 10 toes facing the long side of your yoga mat. Hands to hips, use inhale to rise. Exhaling here. Go into horizontal reach of the arms. Pretend as if you're firming your arms down into something so you can feel like the underside of the arms kind of light up. Turn your right foot out, left foot in. In that same reaching we did when we were spiraling, reach way out and over to the right. Trikonasana, bottom hand to something, upper arm to sky. Breathe length. Right? The breath matches the length of the arms, the legs, and the spine. Look down with the eyes. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Keep the arms reaching and toned down. As you exhale, turn right foot in. Left foot out, other side, away, away, away. And then climbing in. Look down with eyes. Use inhale to rise up to standing. Exhale, parallel your feet. Let your arms drop for a moment. And then here's where you're wanting your blocks. And we're going to do one over on the right and one on the left. So find your yoga blocks. Do one back right corner of your yoga mat. Do one back left corner of your yoga mat. And then bring your hands to your hips. Rotate your right leg so the thigh bone in the hip socket turns totally to the right. And then back heel lifts, wrap the pelvis forward facing, and place the foot on the angle. Hands on the hips. Right hand stays, left arm reaches up. Take a breath in. As you exhale, I want you to go forward and across. Touch your yoga block. Inhale, come back up. 
exhale, spiral the other way. So you're just pivoting your body like on your heels. Right? Now we've got left hand to hip, right arm up. Take breath in. Exhale, reach forward and across. Touch the fingertips to that block. Inhale, spiral. Can you do it in one inhale? Till right hand's on hip, left arm to sky. Exhale, forward and across. Inhale, spiral. Long breath is needed here. Left hand hip, right arm reaches forward across. Breathe out. <laughs> spiral. The next time we go here, where it's right hand hip, left arm up, exhale forward and across, stay. Right? Maybe you move the block closer in towards the outer foot. Inhale, lengthen even more. Feel right hip held in place. Exhale, rotate, chest, belly to the right, right arm to sky. So you're taking it into revolve trikonasana. Crown reaching away from thigh bones. Thigh bones pull back. Spine reaches forward. Look down. Spiral, so you're unwinding, pivoting on the heels. It's a move. <laughs> so you come to left hand to hip, right arm to sky. Use an exhale, go forward and across. You can sneak your block in closer as needed. Lengthen, inhale. Wrap, exhaling, belly chest to the left, left arm to sky. So length of spine has not compromised any from triangle to revolve triangle. Now it's just rotated. Glancing down, can you unwind to parallel so all 10 toes are facing the same direction? Heel toe your feet out wide. You can keep your blocks exactly where you have them. <laughs> and reach your arms horizontally. Turn your right foot all the way out. Bend your right knee, right hand on block outside of right foot, right shin. Left arm overhead, extended side angle. Lift up through this left hand side of the rib cage. So remember when one side of our body was getting short and the other side was getting long? It's a side bend, create it. Downward cast eyes. Inhale, rise straight in the front leg. Exhaling, pivot your feet. Bending left knee, left hand to yoga block. Outside a left foot, top arm over, lift up like a little teapot. Lift yourself up through the ribs and pour yourself out. From here, touch ground right and left hand. Move the block to the side, step back, downward dog. There's one by your foot too if you want to just kind of stick it off to the side somewhere. Stay in down dog or take vinyasa. Take several breaths here, make the breath as long as the limbs. Raise your right leg high and long. As you exhale, right shin underneath you, pigeon prep. Left leg edges way back. Untuck your back toes and actively reach your back leg away from you. And then belly in so they'll feel like a little bit like your tailbone's going under you like a hook and walk forward. So it's the same idea of sitting bones towards the ground in standing forward fold, or the idea of angling the front hip bones towards the chest, coming into resting pigeon.
Find your way into lifted, so you slowly walk, walk back. Take the leg that's reaching back behind you, bring it around until you can plant the sole of the foot outside of the right thigh. So left leg swings around. Find sitting bones grounded as best you can. Left hand behind, right elbow hooks outside of the thigh somewhere. Breath in to find up all the length. Breath out to find the rotation. And notice if it feels difficult to breathe expansively out from the origin here. Do your best to breathe to the outer edges of you. Inhale, eyes forward. Exhale and unwind. Take the leg that's crossed in front, go back behind you with it, hands to floor, downward facing dog pose. If you want vinyasa, the last one is right here. <laughs> so take it if you'd like or stay in down dog, breathe. Use breath in, lift the left leg long and high. Exhale, left shin underneath. Then it's the righty that tacks back. Untuck, reach the leg first. So you get that extension from the hip. Then adjust tailbone under towards pubic bone or think of hip bones towards chest. Walk forward with that action and settle into Resting pigeon, like sit bones towards the heels. And finding your way back, walking the arms back towards your front leg. Right leg is the one that comes around now until the sole of the foot is stamped outside of the left thigh. Setting left hand behind you, or right hand behind you, left elbow outside of the leg. Up is with the in-breath, the vertical. Rotations with the out-breath. And breathe generously from the origin outward. Use inhale, eyes forward. And exhale to unwind yourself. Uncross the legs, Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. And for the first position, hold your ankles from the front. And draw arm bones back, retract the skull. So it's same as our breathing position. Chest is retracted, arm bones are pulled back. Shoulders are down and on the back side of the rib cage. So we're finding the length. Notice when you do that, if you're in a huge ribs forward position, can you negotiate those things without letting your rib cage pop forward and your butt stick out? So vertical, not back bent. Take a breath. And then exhale, like leading with throat and sternum over, forward, and down. At this point, it might make sense to change your grip from holding your ankles to interlacing the hands under the feet or to taking the arms somewhere out in front of you. I'll let you decide how you're gonna roll there. The outer legs stay weighty towards the floor, so this is a hip opener.
Use in-breath to lengthen and exhale to lift. Zip your legs together. See that you have space behind you to roll down onto your back and slowly descend. Walk your heels in close to your body, knees bent, soles of the feet on the floor, arms by your side, palms up instead of down. Exhale completely. Breathing in as slow and steady as you can. So we're going to cultivate some deep ujjayi here. Breathing out as slow and steady as you can. Feel where it's originating as you inhale, it expands from the origin out. And as you exhale, you're moving from the periphery back in towards that origin point. Now that you've got a handle on this stretching or elongation of the breath, Start to use the breath to move you into bridge pose, rolling bridge. So when you inhale, hips go up, arms go up overhead. We still have the palms facing up until the fingers tap above your head. Exhale, bring it all the way down, open palmed. The breath is your animator. It's guiding you through the movement. And two more. And last one, timing it. Allow the back of the pelvis to land, the arms to land. Lift your legs, find the pinky toe side of your feet, happy baby pose. If side to side feels welcoming or inviting, then go into side to side motion. And finding center, soles of the feet draw together then the legs you let go and slide them long along your yoga mat. Arms resting, palms up. Even here, can you create back of the head pressing into the floor, chin pulled down slightly. Close your eyes, but orient the eyes in their sockets into a looking down the front of the body position. So the downward cast gaze, even with the eyes closed. And start to feel your breath organically move from a long breath to a more subtle, delicate, maybe even short, shortening of the breath. And as you let go of the controlling or the yoking of the breath, you can also let your senses go. So you begin to settle into this Shavasana.
Begin to bring awareness back from where it may have drifted off to bring it back to the subtle breath. And find little movements in fingers, toes. And slide the right arm up and over. Let it rest beside your head. Bend your knees softly one at a time. And move on to your side body. And from there, pressing into the ground and bringing yourself back to that seat of centering. Join hands together, gesture of offering and gratitude. May the merits of the practice we've done here today benefit all beings everywhere. Namaste.